Welcome to the 2020 NIH Director's Award Ceremony. This ceremony recognizes the greatest achievements of NIH staff from across all of the institutes, centers, and offices within the NIH. This year, as in previous years, the OD Award recipients have personified the values of our organization and demonstrated exemplary commitment to the NIH mission. We will celebrate OD Staff Award recipients across various categories, such as scientific and medical, administrative, technical, and clerical support, common fund leadership, mentoring, and equity, diversity, and inclusion. I will now turn it over to John Burklow, Associate Director of the Office of Communications and Public Liaison, who will announce the award recipients and their accomplishments. And again, congratulations to our award recipients for a job well done. Thanks, Larry. I'm trying to create as much as possible the look and feel of the traditional NIH Director's Award Ceremony standing here in the Kirstein Auditorium at the Natchez Center. I realize, however, that I probably only succeeded in looking like I'm the only one at NIH who didn't get the memo that this year's ceremony has gone all virtual. Anyway, good morning, everyone, or afternoon, or evening depending on when you're watching this. I've been reading the names at the NIH Director's Awards now for nearly 20 years. You might wonder, how did I get tricked? In, I mean, how did I get the honor of doing this every year? Well, actually, it's in my PMAP. I think it's element three. It just says, reads names. Now, I get a lot of support from Dr. Tabak and Dr. Collins. Francis always says, just do your best, John. We know it's a lot harder than it looks. What I'm guessing he's thinking is, listen, I led the Human Genome Project. You have to pronounce some names correctly. Let's put things into perspective. And try not to screw it up this year. And I would understand his concern. Yes, over the years, I have bobbled the ball from time to time. Once, I accidentally kept turning off every light in the auditorium, plunging the room into complete darkness over and over while I made fun of whoever was doing it. Turns out every time I put my book down on the glass surface, it shut off the lights. I'm still not sure of the point of that extra feature on the podium or if it was just events management pranking me. They finally had to come up and whisper to me, you're doing or the time I accidentally left a page out of my script, the names of half the directors on stage. I turned the page and nothing. I lost my place completely. As I stammered on, thankfully, someone who is used to saving the day, Dr. Fauci, stood up and introduced himself. Hello, I'm Harold Varmus. Of course, everyone burst out laughing. The next person stood up and said, and I'm Andy Griffith. And of course, the crowd roared, except he was, in fact, Andy Griffith, Dr. Andrew Griffith, who was standing in for Dr. Batty. So in their own ways, they both helped me out of a jam, and I'll always be grateful. And since that time, as you may know, Dr. Fauci has moved on to slightly more pressing issues, but always saving the day. This year, I suppose the chances of me messing up and you seeing it are a bit smaller since I'm taping this and I could always do a do-over. But you never know. Now, before I begin, I know I'm making light of my performance, but I do want to say it is truly an honor to read the names of the awardees, and I do make a special effort to try to pronounce them correctly. I feel it's the least I can do because this is a big deal, and you and your loved ones should feel proud of your accomplishments 
and of this recognition. So now on to the names. For the 2020 NIH Director's Awards recipients from the Office of the Director in the Scientific Medical category, Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation NIH Collaboration Team for extraordinary leadership and management of efforts to establish a new initiative to cure sickle cell disease and HIV using gene-based approaches. Deanna Finzi, Jacqueline Godin, Mary Gresh, Jill Heemskirk, William Hoots, Joel Islam, Renata Miles, Amy Patterson, Mary Perry, Sarah Reed, Alan Shipp, Jessica Tucker, and Elizabeth Wilder. Next, Cara, Cara Ramos, for extraordinary dedication, diplomacy, and intellectual leadership in defining NIH's role as an influential voice in the ethical conduct of all neuroscience research. In the administrative category, Jennifer Bazinet for extraordinary management and coordination of the ACD Working Group on Changing the Culture to End Sexual Harassment. Next, the Bethesda Campus Pedestrian Safety Team for exceptional service in dramatically improving pedestrian safety throughout the NIH campus by upgrading nine intersections and 20 mid-block pedestrian crossings. Danita Broadnax, Israel Birch, Sean Cullinane, Brandon Hartz, Matthew Heavey, Michael Herson, David Johnson, Peter Ludgate, Philip Mendez, Michael Opelt, Zachary Price, Susan Roberts, Nadia Shelby, and George Sudek. Next, Stephanie Clipper for leadership in revitalizing and spearheading development of a central communications contract at the NIH designed to expedite access to high quality communication services throughout NIH. Next, the Congressional Visits Team for exceptional leadership in organizing various visits to NIH for members of Congress and congressional staff. Phyllis Empofo, Jenna Bauer, Laura Berkson, Jean Barebe, Ernie Branson, Carmen Brewer, Lawrence Brown, Julia Cassell, Maureen Clark, Joseph Comproni, Donna Cruz, Sean Cullinane, Louise Davis, Christopher Everett, Holly Gibbons, Jessica Gill, Adrian Hallett, Patricia Hansberger, Melinda Haskins, Lauren Higgins, M.K. Hallahan, Karen Lamontaine, Michael McLean, Michael McGraw, Jessica McElvain, Julia Mejia, Sharon Milgram, Michelle Mitchell, Essence Motley, Lauren Molman, Donna Phillips, Rachel Pollock, Stephen Rosenberg, David Sager, Elka Skordalakis Farante, Sarah Selgrade, Michael Samoya, Maggie Stakem, John Tisdale, Carolyn Ugolino, Chui Vo, Brigitte Wiedemann, Daryl Wilson, and Carlos Zarate. Next, the Executive Secretariat at NIH Director's Staff Services Team. In recognition for their singular focus and insightful, dedicated writing, editing, analysis, and response on behalf and in support of the NIH Director, Gwendolyn, oh, <clears throat> excuse me, Gwendolyn Coley, Colleen Crone, Emma DiMantova, Greta Doswell, Chelsea Ellis, Jamie Gale, Rachel Pollock, Leslie Twyman, and Shannon Wooldridge. Helping to End Addiction Long-Term, or the HEAL Initiative, FY19 awards rollout. For organizing and co coordinating the rollout of the NIH HEAL Initiative, FY19 2019 awards announcement. Rebecca Baker, John Burklow, Burklow, Amanda Fine, Jill George, Renata Miles, Kim Pellis, Kim Siegfried, Aaron Spaniel, and Emma Vojtovich. Next, Jerry Moore, for extraordinary initiative and leadership as the NIH regulations officer and career achievements over the last 43 years, resulting in substantial operational benefits for NIH. 
Next, the NIH Anti-Harassment Training Committee for exemplary creativity and initiative in developing the content for and launching of NIH's anti-harassment training and enforcement process. Deborah Chu, Kendrick Gibbs, Anna, Anna Han, <clears throat> Jessica Hawkins, Thomas Holscher, Camille Hoover, Treva Hopkins LeBoy, Wendell Jordan Brankman, Shelma Little, David Michael, Zabe Nicer, Roland Owens, Stefan Scott, Camilla Torella. Next, the OER Foreign Influence Response Team for exceptional efforts in responding to foreign influences on research integrity. Sally Amaro, Jody Black, Francesca Bossetti, Michelle Bowles, Liza Bundeson, Diane Dean, Tracy Gentile, Mina Hiermath, Mina Lang, Thomas Mason, and Patricia Valdez. In the technical clerical support category, Leonard Goldman, in recognition of dedication to the NIH Animal Research Program and Division of Veterinary Resources mission of providing research support to the scientific community. Bradley Rupert, in recognition of dedication to and collaboration with the Clinical Research Center benefiting the patients, staff clinicians, and the research mission of the NIH. Gregory Stolman, in recognition of his outstanding contributions to the administrative workload of the Division of Radiation Safety. Next, we move to the Common Fund. Common Fund Leadership, the NIH Common Fund Best Awards Leadership and Review Team, the outstanding leadership and evaluation of the NIH Common Fund Broadening Experiences in Scientific Training, or BEST Awards, facilitating transformation and culture change in biomedical research training. Allison Gammy, Stephen Korn, Patricia Lebowski, Rebecca Lindsay, and Kay Lund. In the mentoring category, Mary Garcia Cazarin for exemplary performance while demonstrating significant leadership, skill, and ability in serving as a mentor. In the NIH Equity, Diversity, and Inclusion Awards, the EDI Award, Harvey J. Bullock Jr. Award, and just to note, this will also be recognized in a separate video uh, from Deborah Chu, Director of the Office of Equity, Diversity, and Inclusion, and the award sponsor. Rachel Kenla Ramirez, in recognition of your outstanding leadership in building relationships between the NIH and historically black colleges and universities to enhance research capacity. The EDI Award, Yvonne Thompson Maddox Award, This will also be in the, the video. Rosalina Bray, in recognition of your outstanding leadership in fostering equity, diversity, and inclusion at the NIH and in external scientific enterprise. In the external scientific enterprise. Now we move to the Commission Corps Awards. The Outstanding Service Medal, Rear Admiral Timothy Holtz from the OD for his scientific excellence and outstanding leadership in the conduct of a clinical trial in HIV prevention among key populations in Thailand. Captain Derek Newcomer from the OD for developing a novel test, test method to measure capture efficiency of portable air filtration devices used during building construction, construction activities. Next, Captain Derek Newcomer once again for research exploring occupational exposures to anesthetic agents, which yielded improved techniques to minimize risk of illness to healthcare providers. Next, Captain Christine Hunter from the OD for exceptional administrative and scientific leadership during extended coverage of OBSSR director responsibilities. Next, Commander Evan Shukan for demonstrating unusually high quality initiative in leadership and making exceptional contributions to the NIH mission in training over 4,500 individuals. Next, Commander Leo Gomapas for his exemplary leadership in the development and operations of the Prevention Through Active Community Engagement, or PACE, program between 2012 and 2018. In addition to the names and citations I just read, the OD has a number of staff 
being recognized by other NIHICs. Please take a moment to look on the website for their names and citations. I'd now like to turn it over to Dr. Tara Schwetz, NIH Associate Deputy Director. Thank you, John, for announcing our outstanding OD Award recipients. I would like to take a moment to echo Dr. Tabak's congratulations to all of the OD awardees. I am amazed by the perseverance and diligence of our OD staff in supporting the NIH mission. It's really an honor to work alongside each of you, and I look forward to all the great things we will achieve in the future. Continue to be safe and be well, and again, congratulations. <laughs>